Welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-9 from RC Hippeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the plate is subjected to the two forces at A and B as shown. If theta equals to 60 degrees, determine the magnitude of the resultant of these two forces in its direction measured clockwise from the horizontal. To solve this problem, we will use the law of parallelogram of vector addition. For that, we have to draw the projection of these two forces. So let's extend this axis, the horizontal axis, a little more. And we have the projection and we have the projection of the vector fp like this and we have the projection of the vector fa like this this is fp which is 6 kilo newtons and this one is fa which is 8 kN and we have the resultant from the tail of these two vectors to the opposite end. This is FR and we have to find the resultant. So let's say this is the x axis and theta is equal to 60 degrees which is given to us in the problem so which means this angle right here is 30 degrees because y axis is perpendicular to the x axis similarly on this hand this is 40 degrees which means this angle right here is 50 degrees for fr let's say this angle right here, the complete angle is alpha, and this angle, this the complete angle, the 30 plus 50 degrees angle is also alpha because they are opposite to each other, and we have this angle which is beta, and this angle is also beta, so we have some of the Integral angles of a quadrilateral equal to 360 degrees and alpha is equal to 30 plus 50 degrees plus 2 beta equal to 360 degrees. So from here, beta is equal to 100 degrees. Now we can use the cosine law to find the resultant force. So fr is equal to 6 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 6 into 8 into cos 30 degrees sorry cos 100 degrees so from here fr is equals to 10.8 kilo newtons This is our first answer. Now for the direction measured clockwise from the horizontal, which means we have to measure some angle clockwise like this from the horizontal for the force for the resultant force, which means from the horizontal to this force FR, we have to find this angle, this angle. Let's say this angle is x. So what we have to do, we have to isolate the parallelogram and let's say we have to find this angle, this angle right here from the force Fa to the resultant force. 
and let's say this angle which is unknown to us right now is let's say this is y degrees so consider the triangle o a b for x degrees the direction of resultant force consider triangle OAB which will look like this if we separate this part of this triangle Like this is F A, this is F B, and this is F R. This angle is unknown to us right now, which we had labeled Y degrees. This angle is beta, which is 100 degrees. Okay, and we have F B is equals to Six kilonewtons. F A equals to eight kilonewtons, and F R is equals to ten point eight kilonewtons. We have to find the y degrees, which is sine y over F B, which is six equals to sine hundred. Over FR, which is 10.8. So from here, Y is equals to 33.169 degree. So now we have to find the X degrees, which means from the figure we can write that from the main figure that we have we have 30 plus x degrees equals to y degrees so x degrees our objective is equals to y degrees which is 33.169 minus 30 so x degrees is equals to 3.169 degree this is our second answer So I hope you will find this video helpful, if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question related to geometry of this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it in, as soon as possible. Thank you.